The most expensive appliance to run in your home is a conventional hot water system. It generally consumes about 35% of the household running costs. So by going to a solar hot water heater, you will reduce your household running costs by anywhere up to 35%. Whereas if you have a system that, say if 80% of your year is free hot water, it's always going to be free for 80% of the year. The average house produces around about four to four and a half tonne per year of greenhouse emissions just with their hot water system. With the solar system, on average, it's about 0.22 of a tonne. So it is a massive saving. That's where most people see the benefit is, number one, you save a lot of money throughout the year. And environmental wise, the Solar Heart can reduce greenhouse gases by three to four tonne per home, which is equivalent to taking a small four cylinder family car off the road. To go from something like a gas hot water system uh, to a solar system, your initial outlay, yes, it is greater. But if you look at what you will save per year, in some cases $300 per year, some cases $800 per year. If you take that into account, long term, uh, by far a better purchase than conventional water heating. With all these solar hot water systems, you do qualify for a government rebate. It can vary from state to state, so you would have to check with your local dealer to see what rebates apply and what they are worth. Installed, all set up on the roof, generally between three and a half to four and a half thousand dollars. The payback period is in some homes four to five years, in some homes eight to nine years. It depends on your hot water usage. But we would expect by the time you've paid, the system has paid for itself, um, you've still got around about 15 years where the system is making you money essentially because your, your household running costs can be reduced by as much as 90% over the previous conventional hot water system. Mm -hmm.